Not long after I'd become radicalized, began delving into the all-important capital D theory and started passively lurking the discourse, I very quickly realized that the things I thought defined the left were the very things that were the greatest points of contention. Long story short, I came to the realization that the left has never been united and never will be. And that's okay. The terms left wing and right wing came out of the seating arrangements in the French Estates General during the French Revolution. Those who sat on the left opposed the Ancien Regime, supporting the Revolution, Republic, and Secular Society. Those who sat on the right supported Tradition, Religion, and the Ancien Regime. For some folks, having socially progressive politics is enough for them to assign you the label left wing. For other folks, vague anti capitalism is a necessary prerequisite to distinguish themselves from the dreaded liberals. Surely, if we'd only see what we have in common, we'd be able to voltron ourselves out of the hell of capitalism. But no, instead we have to get hung up on petty arguments, majoring over minors and making mountains out of molehills. I can't help but question where folks are getting this impression that the left has ever been, or can ever be, united. Beyond the very obvious theoretical split within Marxism, and between Marxism and anarchism, also seen the consequences of blatant divisions bear out in reality, most famously with the Soviet Union's brutal crackdown on non-Bolshevik socialists and especially anarchists after the revolution, a pattern that will be replicated in other revolutions of the 20th century. You can honestly point to any movement or revolution under the banner of leftism and find a well of factions and groups that work with and against each other to advance their various distinct causes. Like, yeah, the left has its differences, but let's unite now to defeat capitalism, and then we can argue about the next step afterwards. But this is not a game. Capitalism is not the final boss. Unity is not some superficial declaration. Revolution is not a single, simple, linear event set into the distant future. I'm also not saying never build bridges, or never work with people who don't have the exact politics. My vision is of a world in which many worlds exist. So I work with people I disagree with, but I also know my limits. I know the extent to which we can effectively work together, and we maintain those parameters, and we still learn from each other. My focus is mainly on sharing my perspective and my principles, on actively organizing my people in every way I know how, with my values at the forefront, and on building coalitions locally, regionally, and internationally based on the same, in order to develop resilience, autonomy, safety, and care. As climate collapse descends upon us all, I don't have time to waste on canvassing for politicians who do not care about me. I don't have time to convince people to join some vanguard party. I don't have time to put up with so-called radicals who are comfortable ignoring the real struggle of those under their favorite states. I don't have time to wait around for some imaginary global capital R revolution like it's the rapture. Time and energy are limited. Why spend them trying to fit together pieces from completely different puzzles? I'm in coalition with people who want to tear down systems of domination, not just reshuffle the walls of power. Peace.